Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Hope everything's going your way today. Today, I'm coming to you from my bed. Yes, you guessed it guys. Somehow, I forgot to do my intro and I just realized that as I started to end this video. Bars. So, today, I'm going to be doing an affordable beat. Yes. Today, I'm going to be doing a full look using affordable products that I found when I was shopping my stash. Yes. It's all about balling on a budget today. So, if you want to just hang out with me while I'm doing an affordable look using affordable products, then just keep on watching. Later. Okay, everybody, let's get started with this look. Okay, guys, so I've already done my brows off camera because, yeah, let's say it together, guys. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know what it is. I use my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the shade Espresso. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already know the drill, okay? <laughs> yeah, it, it gives me those hair like strokes that I like. <laughs> it makes me uh, look like I have a laminated brow when I have no brows at all. So, yeah. Now that we got that part done, about these eyes, though. A drugstore look just wouldn't be a drugstore look without a little wet and wild. So for my eyes today, I'm going to be using this wet and wild, mm -hmm, wild hearts palette. Now, guys, um, I didn't even know this palette existed. I feel like I've been up under a rock somewhere because, yeah, there are videos out there on the tube using this palette. But how I found the palette is, yeah, <laughs> I've told this story a million times. Uh, yeah, I, I went to go pick up a prescription at a Walgreens I don't regularly uh, go to. And yeah, they had this palette. And <laughs> it's also no secret that <laughs> I always have a hard time opening up this particular palette. So, <laughs> okay, guys, I have it. Okay, guys, so yeah. This is a real cute little color story here. I mean, a real nice, neutral, basic color story. So, I mean, you got a nice array of um, selection here. Uh, we do have our little neutrals. We got pops of little pinks and purples. And we even have some blues and greens. So, hmm. Hmm. I feel like for this look today, because I've been doing so many neutral looks, I mean, Lily, it looks like you're about to do another one, if I'm being honest. I think for this look today, I want to kind of do, I thought maybe I wanted to do some purples today because I haven't done purples in a while, but then I do do pinks quite a bit. So, yeah, I feel like. I might do some golds and greens, okay? That's still nice and wintry, guys. That's still nice and wintry. <sighs> oh, the confusion of it all. Like, it's so confusing that I almost feel like I just want to play it safe and do, like, a neutral look, but no. No, 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 Lily. We don't play safe. So let's just stick to... Yeah. Because I feel like this is too earth tony. We're going to do, we gonna, we going to be in a realm of like the purples and the pinks. That's what we're doing today, guys. That's what we're doing today. So, yeah. First, I'm going to base my eyes right quick, though. I'm going to use, to base my eyes, a concealer that I'm going to be using under my eyes today. And it's by J-Cat. I'm going to be trying this uh, J-Cat Stay Assurance Concealer. Water Seal. Zero Smudge Concealer. And this one is in the shade Banana. I actually have two shades here. I have the Banana, and then I have Soft Tan. I feel like I'll be using this as part of a brightening under my eye, but I feel like this will do good as a primer as well. So, yeah. Let me just go ahead and base my eyes right quick. Oh. Um, guys... I don't know how to feel about this applicator right here. It's a little scratchy. Like, let me show you guys. Right here, this piece of plastic is sticking up and it is scraping my eyes. But, I mean, 
What can you expect, guys? It is an affordable concealer. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I do have other uh, affordable concealers I use that um, <laughs> aren't as dangerous. But yeah, I mean, whether good, bad, or different, this is what we're doing today. This is what we're doing today. Okay, guys. Let's party. Okay, guys. First, going in with this pretty like cranberry mauve shade if you will i'm gonna go ahead and put this in my crease and my outer v and i'm gonna be using my japanese 726 brush to get that done hey guys i actually got this brush i think those of you guys my peeps who watch my videos many periods of time already knows that i get these big these brushes because they stay in regular rotation at like tj maxx and marshall's so yes i've got like two or three of these Guys, you see that, guys? That shadow is pigmented as all get out. And again, guys, I'm going to be putting this on my outer V. And I will be taking it all the way in to the front of my crease. And guys. The fact that this shade looks just as pigmented on my um, lid as it does in the pan, yeah, that's most definitely a plus. Yeah. And guys, because my lids are quite hooded, okay, <laughs> and this seems like they're getting more and more hooded by each year, okay, I always come a little bit above my crease. So that it can be um, seen when I opened up my eyes. Okay, guys. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Okay, guys. Now going in with this shade right here. Is that the shade? Yes. Um, this is actually shade 22. Yes, they have numbers on the back, guys. So going in with shade 22. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that directly over. The crease shade that I used. And I'm using a... What kind of brush is this? I feel like this was a brush that I got from Becca Muse. Yeah. The indie brand. Yeah, it has no number, but it was from a set. And I'm going to use this brush to get that done. Hmm. Guys, um... <laughs> is it me or... Like, do these shades look like almost closely related? Like, don't they look pretty close and similar? I mean, this shade that I'm using now, shade 22, might be just a tad bit more vibrant. But guys, <laughs> it looks too close together for me. But... You know, your girl, Lily. That's all right. We gonna fix it. Yes, guys. I knew going in, this shade was gonna be almost the same. But, you know. Now I have to make the other side match. I mean, why are we doing it? And even though... These two shades resemble each other quite a lot. They seem quite redundant. So far, I'm not mad at the performance. Not at all, guys. Not at all. The pigmentation is most definitely there. Okay, guys. Now your girl Lily's done doing absolutely too much for absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and blend this out right quick. So going in with this mobby shade right here, which is shade... 15. No. Shade 14. I'm just going to go ahead and um, use that to blend out the two shades that I used. 
And I'm going to be using my Morphe 330 brush to get that done. Okay, guys. Now, that's definitely a difference. And, gosh. I cannot expect this shade to be that pigmented. Like, if you look at the shade on my lid versus in the pan... I totally thought it would be lighter. But I'm not mad at it, though. Oh, guys. You see that blending off? Yeah, these shadows are blending out rather nicely. Okay, guys, yes, I love the tone of that shade. And, guys, when I say this does not look like how it would turn out on your lid when you look at it in the pan, okay, <laughs> guys, this palette's huge. Guys, I mean, I guess it's kind of true to color, but, guys, look at all that kick up. But I don't much mind it, guys. I mean, that's to be expected um, with pigmented shadows. So, now, just to get rid of the harsh lines, just gonna reinforce my blending right quick. And I'm just gonna keep using my Morphe M330 brush for that. Okay, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now the part that everybody came here for. The lid. Okay, guys. First, I want to swatch some of these shimmers to see what we working with because, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at them and some of them look a little suspect. So, um, let me first swatch a couple of the purples. Hmm. Okay, guys. So, looking at these shades, they look more like satins don't they yes they do guys they do they do so let me see if any of these shades are gonna give me some glitz so this one might be all right mm, no okay that's all right but that's too much on the neutral realm <sighs> guys yeah they're making it hard for me they don't even look like they got glitz to them. So, <laughs> what is going to do? Because we're we using this palette, guys. We are using this palette today. <sighs> guys. Let me see what these greens are doing. Maybe the blues. Maybe I might have to use a blue. Mm, no. Okay, guys, so, um, mm, 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 mm. you know what we're going to do, guys? I feel like, for the sake of this look, we might have to make this all matte look. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you because I don't, I, I'm not impressed with these shimmers this time. I'm not because, guys, like, this one. It looks like it'll have promise, right? Like, it really does, guys. But, I mean, the swatch is not saying that. Okay, maybe they saying that sort of, kind of. <sighs> Lily, this is an affordable palette. What can you expect? What can you expect? So, I'm just going to try this purple. We're we, we going to try this one, okay? We're going to try this one. Which I'm scared to even try and use. I'm scared to try and use my um glitter glue because that's not a glittery shade. But since your girl Lily such a glutton for punishment... I'm going to use my um Glam God's Beauty Diamond Primer anyway, though. <laughs> yeah, 
they're not gonna give me shit. But this my jail. Yeah. They're gonna be all right. Okay, guys. First, going in with this shade right here. Okay, this is shade number six. I'm gonna go ahead and put that like on the first third of my lid right quick. And guys, I'm using my ColourPop E4 brush, but any flat brush will do. Okay, guys. That's cute or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's really cute. That is really cute, guys. So, what I'm going to do now, because like, your girl Lily can't help it, I'm going to see what it does if I wet my brush. So, I want it with my Max Fix Plus. I'm going to wet my brush. Bars. Okay, guys, so yeah. I mean, that makes no difference at all. What you see is what you get. But it's still cute, though. And now going in with shade 21, I'm going to use that to bridge the gap between the shimmer shade I just used and my crease shade. Okay, guys, yes. Just as I suspected, while you would think looking at this shade, it was a shimmer, it's really more like a satin. But I'm not mad at it though. It's still cute. And now I'm just trying to marry the two shimmers together. And of course, you guys, my peeps know I achieved that. By just switching my flat brush back and forth from one shade to the other. Okay, guys, yeah, that's really cute. All right, let me just go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye right quick. Okay, guys, not bad, not bad at all. I kind of like the way this look is turning out so far. So now I'm just about to go ahead, pop on my lashes off camera. Yeah. We'll be back to finish up this face, though. Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, popped on my lashes off camera. Yeah. <laughs> These are the kids. Lash Drip Spiky X Boosted Volume Lashes. Mm -hmm. They're in the style drop, okay? <laughs> and yes, I do have multiple pairs of these, which is how I'm able to show you a fresh pack. Yeah, I like them. They're really cute. I mean, do they get a wet effect? I don't know, guys. I don't know. But they're still cute nonetheless. No, on a primer. For primer today, I'm going to be using a primer by Wet n Wild. I'm going to be using my uh, Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. Now, guys, honestly, if I have to compare this to any kind of high-end one I've used, guys, I I'm going to tell you. It performs, honestly, it performs just as good as my Frisali Skin Tone Blur. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Um, it helps my, it not only gives me a glow, but it also helps the foundation stick for show. Yes, guys. And guys, it smells like it's color. It kind of smells like lavender. Yeah. This is a real nice one, guys. And let me come a little bit close. I don't want to be too far back, but I don't want to be too far up, guys. Cause yeah. But, mm-hmm, Yeah. I really love this primer, guys. And I find this goes well with full coverage foundation, medium coverage foundation, and even tinted moisturizer, guys. Yeah. It gives a nice little glow to the skin, too, if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. On the foundation. 
for foundation today. I'm going to be using a foundation I've never used before, and it's by J-Cat. I'm going to be using the J-Cat Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. And I'm going to be using mine in the shade Cappuccino. Now, guys, one thing I can say about this foundation, uh, yeah, it's most definitely affordable because, um, yeah, <laughs> The shade range is like pretty much non-existent, guys. It's non-existent. And forgive any noise you hear in the background, guys. Yeah, they are still doing fixes on the house across the street. I feel like they're going to be moving some people in there soon. So, excuse all the banging. But, yeah, about this foundation, though. Um, yeah, so who could possibly be my foundation twins? I just went on ahead and used the shade that I thought that they were. But it's not, it's not really many shades, guys. So... I'm just going to start off with about this much. And guys, okay, that looks a little light, okay? But, I mean, we're here now, guys. We're here now. So, yeah. Going in with my Morphe E63 brush. This is a nice foundation brush, guys. We're going to just see what it do, what it do, what it do. Uh oh guys. Uh oh guys. I think we may have a KVD foundation uh mashup. Guys, this looks like this might be too light too. But guys, I mean they had another shade and the shade that was a little deeper than this. I'm sure it would have been too deep for me because it looked like it might have been a little too rich. So, we just going to make this work. But, I mean, if we're just speaking on the coverage, guys, though, <laughs> this is some nice coverage. So, I did just put another pump on my brush. Mostly because this brush is so clean. And, you know, with clean foundation brushes... They can sometimes, you know, suck up your foundation. But, yeah, this coverage is really nice. Okay, guys, yes, guys, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm looking at it, it's not really that much too light for me. It's just a little too light for me. So, yeah, I can totally work with this. But, yeah, I'm not mad at the coverage. I'm not mad at the coverage at all, guys, at all. Now, on a concealer... For concealer today, I'm going to be going in with the J-Cat concealer, guys. This is the J-Cat Stay Assurance Water Seal Zero Smudge Concealer. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. And I have two shades here. I have the shade Soft Tan. And I have the shade Banana. Now... I'm going to first go in with the soft tan. Another thing about this concealer, guys, there's not a lot of shades. You're pretty much either going to go with light, medium, tan, or deep, or something like that. But it's affordable, guys. So, um, as I showed you earlier, guys, it does have a like a doe foot. But, guys, when I say it has a doe foot, like, why is this not focusing, guys? My stuff has not been focusing. There we go, guys. There we go. It's got like hardly any padding on it so i'm gonna be very careful when applying this so let it go ahead and apply it right quick okay guys but it seems to be kind of creamy okay you guys know i take my concealer to make a little sharp line to make my liner look sharp as my girl michaela says it we're going to make this line nice and shy. And yes, your girl Lily is doing, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, the, the Circa 2016 Triangles, okay? Because that's just what I do, okay? And I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to put some on my forehead. Okay, guys, and that looks like that might be a nice shade for me. But, yeah, 
Your girl Lily still wants to do a little bit of brightness. So I'm going to go in with the banana. And I'm just going to put that right like just a dot on the inside. Okay, guys, and in rare fashion, yeah, I'm just going to let my concealer sit for a minute. And then I'll be back to blend it out. Oh yeah, guys, and my coffee of choice for today. This is um, Vanilla Coffee by Private Stock. This is Private Stock Vanilla Cold Brew. Private Stock, I want to say, is a Kroger brand, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's that. I have Southern Butter Pecan Creamer in here. And yeah, that's it. Mmm. And it's so good, guys. So good. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and blend it out right quick. See what it do, what it do, what it do. Guys. <laughs> you see that? Now, that's what I call coverage. And guys, one thing I know you guys, my peeps, notice that I do is even though I would just put concealer like on the bridge of my nose, I do blend it all the way across my nose. And that's because no matter what, guys, high end, affordable, Andy brand, mainstream, guys, some foundations are just not going to stick to my nose. So to stop that and prevent that, I just put the concealer all on my nose because at the end of the day, guys, when it's time to sculpt my nose with the bronzer, yeah, you hardly gonna ever be able to tell the difference anyway. So that's what I do. And guys, look at that coverage. I'm not mad at this coverage. Not so far, guys, not so far. Let's go ahead and set this concealer though. So to set my concealer in place, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Now this one is in the shade Light Pink. Guys, this is a very good setting powder. Um, I think I have used the translucent on camera with you guys, my peeps. I think I've used the pink too, but I think it might have been like a silent video or something like that. Guys, you already know it's very finely milled, and guys, it definitely is pink. So, first things first, guys. Let me go ahead, make sure I remove the creases first. And going in with my puff I got from Amazon. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in the powder. Yeah, <laughs> let's make sure one more time there's no creases, okay? I don't want no problem. And I'm going to set it in place. And guys, what I do love about this powder is while it is not obnoxiously, is that a word? Obnoxiously pink. <laughs> it's just pink enough to give you brightness and tendencies. Okay. And you guys, my peeps already know. I like to press in as much powder as I can because that does give you a better set throughout the day. I'm not so much of a baker, guys. I mean, now I will kind of bake if like I go too crazy with my bronzer yeah, and I have to, you know, fix that or something like that. But I try not to bake, guys. I mean, mm -mm. nope. Because I find that when I bake, yeah, sometimes, guys, sometimes, I can tend to look like the Crip Keeper. So there's that. I just take what's left on my puff and then set the other places. And this is not going to disturb the color of my makeup. I mean, even if it disturbs it a little bit, it doesn't matter because you guys, my peeps, already know. I go in behind this with like a powder foundation to set or a pressed powder. 
Okay, guys, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, this face is going. This face is most definitely going. Yeah, I love the e.l.f. powder because it definitely has blurring qualities. Uh, just like Huda, guys. Just like Huda, Laura Mercier, all that, all that at a fraction of the price. So now, buffing out my face, I'm gonna go in with another J-Cat product. I'm going in with the J-Cat Aquasurance Compact Foundation. This one is in the shade Golden Beige. Guys, this is a good powder. I mean, I use the mess out of this powder. You can tell because look at all the spillage, guys. All right. And I find this one is equivalent to NC42 by MAC. Yes. Guys, now it, it is it is a lot of kick up, okay? But it's a lot of pigment as well. All right, but this is meant to be like a powder foundation, so I can see why it will have a lot of pigment. Guys, yeah, this is nice. This is really nice, okay? <laughs> yes. And you see how even though I use the pink powder, the powder foundation is bringing the color right on back to my face. So that's why I don't mind you know, setting my um, face in places with my um, setting powder because I'm always, I'm not gonna not use a powder foundation to buff out my face. I mean, unless I'm out of town and I forget my makeup. But other than that, guys, I am always using a powder foundation to set my face. God. Look at this complexion. This complexion is nice. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. But J-Cats would be so affordable. They definitely had a bomb on the complexion product. They do, guys. They do. Now, on the bronzer. Guys, this bronzer needs no introduction because I've used it many times before on my channel. I'm going in with the NYX Matte Bronzer. And I'm using mine in the shade Deep Tan. And that's mostly because I like a deep bronzer. So here's what this one looks like. Now, believe it or not, guys, while it does look real warm, this does have just a little red in it. And I'm totally okay with it because the quality is so nice that I don't mind it. Oh, yes, guys. Every time I use it, I remember how much I love it. And guys, if I'm not mistaken, this is definitely not a discontinued product. I do believe NYX keeps this in regular rotation. I'm almost certain they do, guys. I'm almost certain they do. And I feel like I have a backup. Um, but I think the reason I had a bag up is strictly on accident. I probably forgot that I had this bronzer and when I was up in Alta, I got another one. And then when I cleaned my film room, <laughs> I found the second one. So yes, guys, but that, that's usually the story of my life because yeah. <laughs> I buy repeats all the time. Sometimes on purpose, and sometimes not. Okay, guys, and I like to make my look look a little final and put together. So, you know, you see how, like, when you do your concealer, you'll have, like, just the concealer patch right here. Then you'll have, like, the bronzer right here, and it won't look complete. So I just take the tip of whatever brush I use, and I just kind of go in toward the eye see that guys now it doesn't look like a star line you know it looks like part of your face you know it looks like it looks like it's all cohesive all together and then i just take my brush and brush it down and you guys my piece know why i do that so that i don't have the bronzer helmet now i'm just contouring my nose right quick and I like to bring my bronzer into my shadow just toward the front. 
so it doesn't look incomplete. Give myself a little button nose. Oh, yes, guys. Yes, yes. Cute. Now on the blush. For blush today, I'm going in with a blush I've never used before. I hauled it for you guys. It's by Joa. I'm going in with the Joa Air Light Soft Powder Blush. Now, I have two shades here. Now, this shade is Warm Poppy, which is really cute. I'm kind of leaning toward that one. But I also have this shade right here, and this one is Pink Dahlia. Now, I feel like Pink Dahlia could be the ticket because, like, this is a pinky eye. But I also feel like the warm poppy could go, too, because of, like, the warmth in the front. Hmm. I feel like because I look is kind of strong, let's just do the warm poppy. Because I feel like, mm, guys. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. No, 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 no. We're going to use the warm poppy. So going in with my Eco Tools brush from a set. And I use this for blush, but I don't know that's what it's for. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and zhuzh in here. Guys, there's some pigment going on, okay? Yes, and it's awfully powdery, guys. So let's just see if this even shows up on my skin tone. Hmm. Let's see if it builds up. Okay, guys, yes. That's totally building up. Oh, yes. And this is a real cute shade, guys. Real soft, real dainty, really cute. And, guys, I'm not going to hold you. This formula, this formula, though, like... Ooh, this is a nice formula, but you guys, my peeps, already know. Joa is Korean beauty, okay? And uh, yeah, we already know. Uh, Korean beauty, it rocks. I mean, <laughs> wow. It does have a habit of not catering to my deeper um, skin tone beauties. I mean, the quality of most Korean beauty products that I've used at least, yeah, they're pretty nice. Sometimes unmatched. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. Oh, yeah. I can hardly stop using it, guys, okay? But <laughs> you need to slow down, Lily. Just slow down. Just put a little bit on my nose because, you know, I like that look. Oh, God. That's cute. I mean, you can stop at any time, Lily. You can stop at any time. You can stop at any time. Yes, guys. Yes, yes. Your girl Lily feels like a little doll, baby. No, no, I love. For highlight today, I actually have two to choose from today. So, I do like this Makeup Obsession Mega Honey Highlighter. Okay, this is really cute. And I also love the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in just my type. Now, guys, first let me go ahead and swatch them both for you guys, my peeps. If I can get it open. Okay, guys, now this one is my type. Now, this is like a light champagne, if you will. Very nice glow to it. Now, this one is the Mega Honey. Now, the Mega Honey is just what it says, guys. This is like a champagne gold, if you will. See, that has just a little more yellow to it. <laughs> and it also has a little more bling but for the sake of this video okay yeah 
Well, uh, bling does have a place. Yeah, well, we're gonna go in with the Revolution one today. So going in with my I Live I Love by Juvia's brush. Okay, just gonna go ahead and dip it in here a little bit. Yeah. First, let's start on this nose though. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. That really cute, guy. That really cute. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then we just gonna do a little bit, guys. Okay, we not gonna be doing all that crazy fine stuff today. We just gonna hit it real quick like that. Hit it real quick like that. Because I'm not trying to do too much. I'm not. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to hit the brow bone a little bit. Like, just a little. Okay, just hit it real quick like that. Hit it real quick like that. We're going to just do a little bit. A <laughs> little bit 2016. Okay, yeah. Just a little bit right here. Okay, not, not much, Leo. Yeah. That's it. So, guys, yes, and I think for this one, I might have paid $4 for this if I paid anything. And, guys, it just gives a nice little glow, like, without being too much. Yeah. That's nice, guys. I like this. I like this look so far. I like it a lot. Now, on the lips. Guys, I feel like my camera was off when I was doing this part, but... I'm just lining my lips, and I'm going in with the Revolution Makeup London Lip Liner in the shade Divine. <laughs> so let me go ahead and finish lining my lips right quick. And then to finish off my lips, I'm going in with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And I'm going to be using the shade Ice. Yeah, guys. I know you expecting me to pull out the wet and wild, but yeah. We're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. So, yes. And when these lip glosses first came out, guys, they were all the rave on the tube. And, guys, I see why. Like, I ain't, come on, guys. <laughs> come on, guys. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you see it. I know you see it. I know. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, it makes my lips look nice and juicy. Yeah. This is nice. This is nice. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. But let's finish up these eyes, though. Okay, guys. To so line my eyes, I'm going in with the Wet n' Wild Color Icon multi Stick. And this one is in the shade. Woo. Royal. Is that a Royal Scam? Yeah, Royal Scam. <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and line my eyes right quick. Okay, guys. I'm now going in with this real pretty shade right here. This is shade 28, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to go ahead and use that to set my liner right quick. And lastly, guys, going in with this shade right here is like a pretty iridescent white shade. Hi. And lastly, guys, going in with this pretty white shade right here is like an iridescent type of shade. Yeah, that's really cute. This is shade number nine. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in my inner corner. And finally, guys, going in with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. 
because why would I not? <laughs> and it's on his last leg. I'm about to let the set spray bless my makeup and yeah, this renovation is over. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I like how this turned out. Yes, guys, so. Guys, I must admit, I love how my look turned out today. I look on point, lip gloss popping, and man, look at that highlight. Guys, I'm not going to even hold you because most of these products that I use today are not a stranger to me at all, guys, at all. And I've been loving a lot of these products for quite some time, guys. I have, I have. But if there's just one product that I need to give a shout out to that left me totally impressed and it was my first time using it, it will most definitely be <laughs> this J-Cat Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. Guys, now... <laughs> You see it. I mean, you see the face, guys. You see how this um foundation performs. This foundation is the bomb.com. Dare I say, it performs better than some of my high-end foundations. Yes, guys. I'm I'm totally going to stand on that. I'm standing 10 toes down on that. And I'm willing to down that heel a thousand times. Guys, I mean, it left me so full coverage without leaving me looking flat. Guys, yeah. I love everything about this foundation. I do. I do, guys. And I mean, not just the foundation, mm -hmm, <laughs> but the J-Cat concealers too. Guys, these go so good together. There was no streaks. When it came to concealer, I had time to blend it out. I had time to let it sit. I feel like I would have probably had ultimate coverage out of this concealer, even not letting it sit, guys. And I mean, <laughs> it blends like butter. It blends like butter, guys. Guys, this is the bomb.com. Now, the Aqua Assurance foundation, uh, foundation Powder, I'm not new to this. I've been loving this for a long time. But I would say, this is most definitely the trifecta, guys. I mean, <laughs> come on. Let's look at the face, guys. The face is sitting. <laughs> it is, guys. It is. So, yes. As far as the whole complexion, get up for the J-Cat. Yeah. It's the bomb.com. Now, I will say this, though, guys. I wish. Well, I do understand. Okay. I do, guys. It's very affordable bread. Bars. I wish they would have a better shade range because I feel like all of my beauties deserve to experience this foundation. Guys, I love everything about it. And I feel like I got this also on sale. I think the regular price for this is even on like $7, $8, something like that. And I think I got this for $3. And I think for the concealers, if I'm not mistaken, they might have been $3 a piece on sale. But guys, even not on sale, they're quite affordable. And this Aqua Assurance Powder Foundation, I'm almost certain for my like, Light makeup type beauties, those of you guys, my peeps who like clean makeup, things like that. You can totally let this be your all over foundation powder. You can definitely um put this on just to cover up like, you know, the redness. I've done that before, guys, but yeah. Mm -mm. I can't rave about those J-Cat products enough because I'm totally impressed and I will be picking it up again. Um, I feel like, yeah, this skin insurance foundation yeah it's about to it's about to become top drawer for show sure, guys for show sure. and the only other thing that i had not used before is this uh wet and wild wild hearts artistry palette but guys i mean it is the wet and wild formula that we know and love now i will say this the five pans those shimmers yeah they're most definitely more high quality then this palette, but this is still a good palette. Guys, if you're going to get this palette, though, I would say you definitely want to get this palette for the mattes because the mattes, I mean, come on now, guys. These mattes are the bomb.com. Like, I had no problems out of the mattes at all, guys, at all. So, yeah, um, 
But the shimmers, they, they, they're more like topper shades, if you will. Topper shades and satins. But as you see, guys, I still totally got a nice look out of it. I was able to make it work. It's affordable for the price. I do think Wet n Wild is even having a sale going on right now, if I'm not mistaken. But <laughs> let's keep it a buck, guys. Wet n Wild's website is always having a sale. And you can always get stuff on discount uh, Wet n Wild products at, like, the drugstore. Definitely at Walgreens. They, they, they keep stuff on sale at the Walgreens. But, um, of course, as you know, everything else I, uh, I, I use, I've used before and I absolutely love. So, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Uh-uh. <laughs> Guys, wait a minute, hold up, stop the show. I forgot about one more product. This Joa Air Light Soft Powder Blush. Guys, now, I almost hate giving this a shout out and pumping it up and gassing it up because I believe it does not have many shades. I believe they may have maybe one more shade a little bit darker, a hair deeper, than the ones that I was using, but guys, I mean, that's not to say anything about the formula. Guys, I mean, you saw how this blended out. This blended out like the bomb.com. Now, I don't want to say this is like totally affordable because I can't remember how much I paid for this. It's not super duper expensive. It's not on the wet and wild ram, but it's most definitely more affordable than this. Yeah. We'll go with that, guys. We'll go with that. This formula is smooth. Guys, it was so blendable. And you see, guys, it makes me look like a little doll baby. And it builds up rather nicely. So I would say maybe my medium, medium deep beauty gel. You're good to go with these. Um, and if they have a hair darker, I would say my caramel beauties. Yeah, medium deep. But... Guys, if you are like on the real deep realm of it, yeah, I don't know that they will have a shade that's right for you. But guys, I have to shout it out nonetheless because the quality is definitely there. Okay, guys, so for real though. <laughs> I'm really done. Okay, no cap, guys. I'm done. I am, guys. I am. So yeah, <laughs> that's it, guys. No more to say here. No more to see here. Because what's understood don't need to be explained. So yeah, I really did enjoy doing this video. I enjoy pulling out my little affordable products. And guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully this video has shown you that you do not have to break the bank to get a bomb.com look. Because guys, when I say this is an affordable look, affordable beat on a budget, it's an affordable beat on a budget. Trust. Believe. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I played at Affordable Makeup. I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps, every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets greater later, guys. It only gets greater later. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive, stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray.